Well, so we are out at my old place of home, a place of house, place of living, Longview, Texas. We lived here for, gosh, 22 years of my life, almost half of my life, and we're visiting today uh, because of a doctor's appointment. And I figured if we're out here, we might as well do a video. And we're at the beautiful garden at the Mod Cobb Center here in Long uh, downtown Longview with a beautiful backdrop. And I wanted to share with you guys um, a yoga video that I found um, probably about a year and a half ago my wife and I started doing this yoga video um, I got to give credit to yoga by Adrian, which is she's amazing everybody probably knows her if you've done yoga But I'm gonna credit her in the description down below this video is just a 20 minute warm-up for beginners This is beginning yoga if you've never done yoga before this is the right place. Okay, I'm 370 pounds I have diagnoses for uh, degenerative disc disorder, arthritis, um, you name it, I've got it, all right? So that means if I can do it, then you can do it as well. This is uh, just regular yoga, and uh, we're going to get into it, and I hope you guys will stick around with me, do the, the routine with me, and if you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Comment down below, show the video some love, and yeah, so let's get into the it. The first thing you want to do is just put your hands on your knees, straighten your spine, and just roll your shoulders. Make sure you're getting nice deep breaths in and out. Put your neck from side to side, your head from side to side. Just nice and slow, breathe in and out. And then up and down as well. If you're like me, you're hearing all kinds of creaks in your neck. Try to keep your back as straight as possible. And just breathe. And find yourself. Close your eyes if you want, if you really want to try to get some introspection. I always breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. And then bring your hands together, your thumbs together at your heart or your your pel or your um collarbone, right at the top of your chest. And just stretch your fingers as far as they'll go. And just breathe. And you can kind of stretch your arms out and bring them back to your collarbone, your sternum. One thing I like to do when I'm doing yoga is to try to pull my navel towards my spine. Almost like you're sucking in your gut to uh, impress somebody. Now you want to interlock your fingers, come straight out and then stretch, reach, 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 hold it for a breath, let your breath out and come down and then back to, to your front and the same thing. Stretch. I like to wiggle my fingers on the way down and I'm really paying attention to the tips of my fingers while I do that. I rock back and forth here and come back down. Put your hands down by your sides. Take your left hand, put it on your right knee and then twist back behind you get a real good twist right over here to your left side. You don't have to go too far with your right hand, but make sure your fingertips are on the ground and just twist. Oh, 
feels good. Just stretch the, the sides. And come back. Okay, so I just got stung by a bee. Let's go. Come back in and do the other side. And the more yoga you do, the more flexibility you get, the further you can twist. But don't try to do too much at, at, at once. Just try to keep your back straight. Try to keep your heart lifted and your head straight out. Get that twist going. And I'll try to rock into the twist a little bit too. And we're gonna come back to center. Hands back at your sternum. And let's stretch again. Lift, lift, and then down. All right, so now we're gonna plant our right hand, fingertips into the mat. And you take your other hand, and you're just gonna try to reach, 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 and then stretch over. And then come back down and do the same thing. And obviously, obviously you can bend your elbow to get more of your stretch in. But really the key to this is to try to reach as far as you can over your head. Because you're stretching everything over here. And then switch to the other side. And just do what feels good. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Make sure you're in tune with your breathing. And then come back to center. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on all fours. So you wanna put your knees directly under your hips and your fingers on your hands completely spread out and under your shoulders, very important. Just like that. This is the part of yoga that I'm not real good with. So you want to press up out of your palm, press against the earth. And feel your feet on the mat as well, the face of your feet. You're going to want to bow your back, your spine, and then drop it and your head out. And then do the same thing, come back to your bow, and then suck in your gut and your chin out, and then back.
I'm still practicing this portion. It's really difficult for me to know what I'm doing with my spine. But I'm working on it. Now we're going to walk our fingers up. And sit back as far as you can. And just kind of get ready for your next move. Loosen everything out. Curl your wrist. And then we're going to go back down. And now we're going to do some calf. Some calf stretches. We're just going to go back on the far pocket part of your mat. And rock back and forth. You'll feel this in your, in your calves. This is one of my favorite poses. Feels so good. And just rock back and forth. Breathe in and out. Feel your fingertips, the spreading of your fingers. Okay, now we're going to come back up and we're going to go to the other one. Oh, yeah. Get that rock in, rock back and forth, feel that stretch in your calf, behind your knees. Now we're going to come back in, we're going to stretch out our hands to the farthest part of the mat, walk our knees back just a bit. And we're going to try to drop our elbows to the mat, and just put your head on the mat. and breathe. And then come back up. If you're a little bit sore on the shoulders or the elbows, you can come back up and then dive back in. And now, I gotta make sure that my mat is not sweaty, because we have to go from this, and then we're gonna walk our feet so that we're on our toes. I'm gonna go into what's called a downward dog like this. You press out out of the bat with your hands towards your shoulders. And I'll just bicycle your legs. back to a resting spot, shake your arms out, if your wrist will hurt a little bit, it will be sore, especially if you're big like me, and now you're going to do this, back onto all fours, and this is a cool move, you want to tuck your toes under your feet, and you're just gonna rock and come out of this into the downward dog, like so. Keep your chin off your chest and breathe. Now, you're just going to walk towards your hands. 
and then just come up. I like to let my hands drop with no control over them. And then I'll take my hands, pin my waist, and then just slowly come up out of it. All right. Now you want to try to straighten your feet. A lot of people want to feet, feet out that way. You want them to be straight forward and shoulder length apart. And just feel yourself and breathe. And just kind of soften your knees. Feel yourself. Put your hands together, bring them up to your, to your heart. Soften your knees. And breathe. And then you're just gonna reach to the sky like we did earlier, except we're not clasping our hands. This time we'll clasp, bend the knees, come straight up, reach, reach, reach. Breathe, and come down. Right, now let's draw some circles with our nose. All right, so we're going to soften our knees. We're going to put our hands down by our sides and just bring them up by our ears and straight up. I like to wiggle my fingers here as well. And right, now we're going to take our right hand, grab our left wrist, Stay with me now. And we're just gonna pull our hand over to the right and feel that stretch under our armpit again and our obliques. Come back up, switch to the other hand. Bring your hands down, back to your heart. I know. Turn to your left, put your right foot forward, and your left foot back. Make sure your feet are staggered, you don't want to be in a straight line. Right foot on the front of the mat, left foot on the back of the mat. Try to make sure all your toes are pointed straight forward. And the more you do this, the further you'll be able to go down with your knee and get more parallel to the ground. I'm not good enough for that yet, so. We're just gonna stay here for a minute. Really feel your hamstring. Embrace the feelings that you're feeling as well. I'm going to 
same thing we did earlier. Come up by your ears and straight up. This is a warrior pose, warrior one. Okay, we're going to inhale, exhale, and then come straight out to the side and your arms straight out. This is warrior two. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're warrior two to start this one. And then again, take your hands down. And then you're gonna come up by your ears. And then to warrior one. Now we're going to rotate our left feet out, back towards the front of the mat, and we're going to walk our feet back, heel toe, until we're back together. So try to get your breath under control. Hands back at your heart. Okay, so that was our beginner's yoga, the routine by uh, yoga by Adrian. Again, I'm gonna put a link to her page down below. She does this much, much better than me, and she's prettier than me too. So, you know, make sure you check her out. Um, I appreciate you guys watching another fitness video here on the channel. And if you enjoyed this one, show the channel some love. And I'll catch you down the road.